Hello, my name is Ralph Moore. I'll be your instructor for Beginning Networking 1 here at Casper College. And today, what we're just going to go over is the first week and kind of get started on uh, how this course is going to work. First of all, this is a fully online course, and you'll have a lecture each week that I provide for you, and it'll be posted to the course. <clears throat> My contact information is right here, ralph.moore at caspercollege.edu. And this is my cell phone. It's okay to text or call if you have some problems or whatever. So what we'll be doing is announcements. And in the here, I'll put anything that I need to get out to the class. So make sure you check that regularly. Um, here is my bio. We'll look at that in a minute. And then um, here is the course syllabus. So has the materials that you need for the course, and we'll uh, go over those as well. And what we're going to be uh, learning in this course is basic networking. And this course is designed to help you pass the CompTI Network Plus exam. So at the end of the course, you should feel pretty confident about taking that. And then the rest of the syllabus, I'll just let you read through that. Here's our proposed schedule. So uh, for week one, we're just going to complete a discussion and obtain your materials. And then in week two, um, we'll actually get started with uh, chapter one of the basic network concepts. And then you can read through the rest of this and um, <clears throat> see, see where we're going with this. So... Okay, so with CompTIA, they have a certification roadmap, and uh, if we blow this up a little bit here, um, what you want to do if you're interested in getting certifications and ending up in a certain uh, category of work, um, they have it kind of mapped out for you of which certifications you can uh, you should pursue. So, for instance, um, if you wanted to go into information security then you would start with CompTIA IT fundamentals the A plus and then to get to the intermediate um, you'd be looking at these different certifications you do not have to get all of these but these are the ones that would help you out um, to get uh, move up in that that particular field and then for the advanced these are the ones that are recommended and expert they have these ones uh, as recommendations and it's the same for all of the different uh, paths so uh, networking cloud storage uh, hardware IT management strategy storage um, and then uh, it gives you uh, a, a lot of information here about these different uh, certifications so this is definitely a good resource uh, to help plan out your career and see where you want to go and if you have any questions putting that together feel free to reach out to me I'd be more than happy to help you out um, next, we'll take a look, and this is uh, the map mapping course, uh, how it maps to CompTIA's objectives. So uh, CompTIA has objectives for uh, each of their domains. So they have five domains, and domain one is uh, networking concepts, and within that, they have subdomains. So 1.1, explain the purpose and the use of the ports and protocols. And then they have all the ports listed and so forth. So it goes over uh, to the 1.3 and it keeps going till you get down to a new domain. So when we get down to, let's see. So here uh, starts a new domain at 2.0. So then they have the infrastructure and these are all the topics that are covered in the infrastructure. And then it keeps going that way until you get down to uh, domain three, which I think we just kind of rolled past. So there is uh, network operations. Um, so you can go through the rest of this and kind of see all the different uh, topics that we're going to be covering in this course. It's, it's quite a bit. Um, and this course will give you a good, good, solid uh, start in uh, networking. Next, we'll take a look at the CompTIA Network uh, Plus exam objectives. So this is straight from CompTIA, and um, this tells you everything you need to know about the exam if you plan on taking it after the course. <clears throat> so um, what the important stuff is, is here's the testing details. So um, 
they have a maximum of 90 questions. You'll get multiple choice and performance-based questions in that type of test. Uh, you'll have 90 minutes to complete it and recommended experiences, CompTIA A plus certified equivalent, or have some uh, time out in the field um, doing support or administration or uh, some sort of training. And you need a 720 to pass the exam on a scale of 100 to 900. CompTIA does not release their grading criteria. Um, so uh, we really can't tell you how that was formulated, um, but uh, we'll go into more on the scoring later as we progress. And then these are the uh, major exam objectives, the, the domain. So networking concepts is 1.0, and that's worth 23% of the exam. Infrastructure is 18%. Network operations is 17%. Network security is uh, 20%. And network troubleshooting and tools is 12%. So that's kind of how they break it down. And then they have... Uh, it broke down by the subdomains. So these are all the ports and so forth. So you can go through here and you'll see exactly um, what you'd be expected to know to uh, pass the CompTI Network Plus exam. Also right here, this is um, a really good resource. This has all of the acronyms and uh, what the acronym is spelled out. So by the end of the course, what you'd wanna be shooting for is to be able to go through uh, this list here and uh, know the acronym, know what the word is uh, spelled out, and then be able to describe it or know its function or what it's used for. And this is the only place I really know of that they have all this stuff grouped together. And then they also have the equipment, spare hardware, spare parts, the different types of tools that you might use, and software, and uh, some other, other miscellaneous things. So... Um, Again, these links are all built in for you. I have the PowerPoints uh, right here from CompTIA uh, available for you as well. And for this week, you will be uh, expected to complete uh, this uh, uh, class part participation check. Um, and they want that done by Sunday, August 29th. Um, a little bit about me. So um, you can open this up and, and uh, read a little bit about me or not <laughs> your choice um so but anyways i've been in uh well, it's been 30 years now i guess and i've been involved in all kinds of technology um mostly military public safety and education and government work um and i was uh i've taught at itt i also teach at uh, western governors university i teach uh, here at Casper, I've been with Casper for I think going on five years now as an adjunct. I've taught a lot of their different courses, um, <clears throat> and uh, ITT I served as the uh, chair of the Electronics Engineering Program, um, and I'm currently employed by the federal government um, as a systems analyst. Where uh, basically that means I'm a software engineer, so I write a lot of software uh, for the government and. Um, and I work uh, online as a college professor and do some project management uh, as well. And my uh, uh, background started with the U.S. Navy, uh, where I worked with uh, Intel and Communications. I served three uh, tours in the Persian Gulf during the first uh, uh, war that we had over there. And uh, so I spent a lot of time over there. Um, and then after that, I worked a lot of different engineering type jobs, uh, component level, fiber optics, a, a wide variety of different topics. And then uh, moving past that, I uh, once I got my degrees, I worked for the Ohio State Highway Patrol and I was a technology officer for them. I worked f with everything from the SWAT teams to their communications and uh, everything in between. Kind of like uh, what you'd see on TV is kind of what I did for the uh, police. And I also worked for the Florida Department of Corrections. I oversaw 22 of their maximum security prisons for technology, and that was quite a bit as well. So. Um, I should be able to help you out with uh, any of the questions you have or anything. I've, I've seen about everything you can see in this field. Um, I have three master's degrees. I have uh, one basically in software, man, uh, software engineering. I have a master's of leadership uh, and a master's in MBA. 
Um, I also have a Bachelor of Science in Technical Management and the Associate in basically Electronics Engineering. And <clears throat> um, I've added several <clears throat> certifications since I updated this, but um, <clears throat> I've got about 15 or 20 certifications now, I guess. So um, the list continues to grow. Uh, I do live here locally in Casper, um, so if you need anything, I'm, I'm around. Um, I've been published eight times, and I write uh, a lot of articles about project management. Not a lot, I guess, but I've wrote um, articles about project management. And as I mentioned, I was uh, in the U.S. Navy. Uh, I did have a top-secret clearance, uh, so that was um, pretty interesting stuff. And uh, right here in Casper is where I live at, and my wife, Tracy, and um, we got several dogs. So as a little about me, um, and uh, we went through the function of these things, uh, these links here, uh, so you should know how to kind of use those. And uh, I want to show you... Um, so right here is network uh, training videos. Um, so if you open this up, it's going to have um, your videos that you can watch as well. These are um, from Professor Messer. So I'll just pull one up here just a minute and uh, kind of show you how it works. So um, for the network training, um, so you can see he, had, he does have the A+. Plus. Uh, core 1, Core 2, he has the Network Plus and Security Plus. These are free, um, so uh, you would just uh, click on here and watch it. And I've had lots of students... Item that you needed to move between... I've had lots of students in the past that have been able to just watch these videos and actually pass the exam. So uh, these are a really good resource. So uh, these will be, we'll be using these throughout the course, and um, they should help you quite a bit. Um, extra stuff. So let's take a look here and we have um, the CompTI website. So you're going to want to get familiar with CompTI because if you're in IT, you're probably going to be getting certifications and stuff. So um, let's see here. So uh, the different certifications are all right in here that they offer. And then the different types of training, which uh, you're going to get for the Network Plus here in this class. Um, and then how to go about the testing. Now, if Casper doesn't, ca uh, college doesn't uh, provide the testing, so that's something you'd have to do on your own. Uh, but uh, you will get the training that you should uh, be able to pass uh, from me in this course. Um, continuing education, when you do get your certification, if you choose to go that way, um, you want to keep it renewed because if you don't, then you have to retake the exam. And they have CEUs, and there's just a bunch of different ways to get those, and that's all on this page here. Um, if you want to get involved with uh, CompTI, they have different events and stuff that you can kind of uh, look at. And then resources. Um, so this this here uh, is probably uh, the career roadmap that we looked at, uh, certifications and jobs. Uh, if you belong to CompTI, you can uh, find a job. And uh, the salary calculator, um, a lot of people seem to like that. So we'll just uh, kind of look at the networking. Uh, and we'll look at uh, early career, United States. And... Um, it doesn't give us availability of a metro area for some reason. Um, but you can see um, that starting salaries should be somewhere around this amount. Um, it's not a guarantee, of course, but, um, you know, so that's pretty good money. And then as you progress through your career, um, you could expect it to go up pretty, uh, pretty high. Um, so, oh, well, maybe we have to. Yeah, it's not going to let us. So, okay. Well, anyways, you get the idea that um, this is a pretty good uh, field to be in. And it pays pretty well and all that good stuff. So, um, and then they have the find the job and uh, you can uh, register uh, with CompTI here and ZipRecruiter and uh, they'll help you find a job kind of. Okay, so um, back to the course, so that's that. And then we're going to look at the CompTI Network Plus uh, certification. So this is exam code N10-007, uh, and this ha page has everything you need to know about the exam. Um, it tells you all the skills that you'll develop, um, and they will be having a new version come out soon, uh, September uh, 2021. 
Uh, so, but the major skills that you get are networking concepts, network security, infrastructure, network troubleshooting and tools, and network operations. And these is just a sample of some of the companies that typically hire CompTIA uh, certification holders. And this is just a sample of some of the typical job titles. And then this has everything uh, that you need to know about the exam. So it gives you the description of the exam, the number of questions, uh, the different types of questions that you could expect, uh, 90 minutes uh, to take the exam, and you have to have a 720 out of that scale of 100 to 900. Recommended experience is 9 to 12 months. Now, if you don't have that, we do have labs built into this course, which will help uh, get you past that. Um, and you could take it in multiple languages. I suggest probably English. And um, when they say retirement uh, of summer 22, that just means the current version. And then that new one they'll have will be the new one. That's why it's important to uh, keep yours renewed. Once you get it, it's good for three years. And you have to do the like uh, so many CEUs to keep it active. And once you do that, then um, it just rolls over and you keep it for another three years. So every three years you have to do that. But that's better than having to go and take the uh, exam again. Um, I know that Casper does have a testing center on, on site that administers this test. And then you can also do it online as well. Um, if you come over and fill this uh, sheet out here, um, they'll let you get the exam objectives and the practice questions. Now, the exam objectives already had um, it built into the course uh, up here a ways. So right there, the same thing. Okay, so career-related information. In here, I have... Um, you'll be able to download these things. And I'll go ahead and pull this over. And so we have a bunch of different websites that you can use to research uh, the different jobs and uh, and search for jobs and uh, research them. And so this is uh, good material. Make sure you go through it. I have example cover letters and resumes. Uh, feel free to take those and make them yours. And then um, we have job search sites. So these are some uh, really popular ones uh, that uh, you should be able to use to identify open positions. And then uh, we're just going to talk about other certifications real quick. Um, there's an organization called the ETA. They have uh, several certifications that you can get through them. Um, the PMI and uh, you can get uh, student membership through uh, this group. This is the uh, Project Management Institute, a very professional group, good thing to belong to. And then the IEEE, um, you can get a student membership here as well. Um, so those are a couple that you can look into outside of CompTIA. Um, we have an Indeed career guide here. Um, so <clears throat> this is a good place to just get information on trying to uh, locate a job or um, how to do your resume and interviewing and all that kind of stuff so uh, make sure you take a look at that and then uh, this here is about uh, launch how to launch your career so this is some good advice to go through like how to get your first tech job and and so forth so um, I like to include that stuff as part of the course that way um, hopefully it helps you more um, and then let's see so that was everything in the extra stuff and then for this week, what we'll be doing is we'll just be obtaining our materials. So you're going to be required to get uh, this book. You can have Kindle version or a hard copy, whatever um, you like better. And then you'll have to have the labs, which are right here. And we'll take a look at all this here in a minute. And then in Moodle, you have to complete a discussion. Um, so we'll open this up. And um, <clears throat> what we're going to uh, talk about here pretty much is... Uh, Let's see, draft one or two specific goals that you want to accomplish by the end of the course. Uh, consider and describe how this course can contribute to your career goals and then discuss your excitement, challenges, or apprehensions to begin this course. Now, at the end of the course, there's going to be another one of these and you're going to have to see if you met these goals that you set. So um, think about those and make them realistic and uh, that will uh, help you out. So looking forward to seeing those and we're going to go back to the course here. Um, so 
that's week one uh, pretty easy just get your materials complete this and then starting week uh, uh, well I still need to update this but during week two um, we'll be watching some of these videos we'll be reading chapter one uh, we'll be also doing some of the labs um, and I have directions on how to get all this uh, stuff up and going um, so this is a pretty heavy course once we get up and rolling so uh, make sure you keep up and uh, if you have any problems uh, getting your materials or whatever please shoot me an email or call me and let me know uh, that way we can figure out a better plan okay so uh, okay so this is the Kindle version of the book and this is what I use and um, my lectures will be based off of uh, this book here and so Alright, so the book here, this is at, at a glance. Uh, these are the different chapters that we'll be going through. And then the chapter uh, breakdowns. So, it's just the table of contents. So, if we... Go through here just a little tiny bit further. Okay, so the online, this comes with online uh, simulated performance based questions and solutions, video training, uh, lab book, uh, a bonus chapter, impl implementing a network and a searchable glossary of key terms. Um, so we'll go over all that in just a minute. But this is where you would go to uh, get your, um, uh, your license and get signed up for this material and uh, you'll be in the total tester uh, so we're going to take a look at the total tester uh, right now so we'll just this is what you'll end up in and this is the total tester so here you have the uh, pre-assessment and then you have the total tester so one of your first assignments will be to take this uh, pre-assessment and then you'll just have to upload your print screen that you completed it and so when you take the exam, it'll be 25 questions. Uh, you'll have 25 minutes to complete it. Assistance is off, and then you'll just start it, and you'll go through and see how you do. So a good thing to do when you're first starting a course is kind of take a test like this and see what you already know. Um, if you don't know much about it, then that's fine. That's why you're here. If you already know a lot about it, then it might be a little bit easier course for you. So um, it can work out to your advantage. And then one of the uh, other assignments will be the total tester. So you'll be taking a practice test in, in here and uh, you can customize it. And I'll have assignments where there's different number of questions you have to take and uh, different things like that. So, um, and if you take it, take it with assistance um, because uh, if you miss a question, it'll show you the answer right away and with an explanation and then that way you know right away that you missed it and you know why and you don't make uh, connections to uh, false answers so that, that'll help quite a bit and then if we go back here um, there's the book resources so you have these quizzes and these are kind of uh, interactive and you'll have uh, performance based questions PBQs on your actual exam you'll have anywhere from two to six of them so these help you uh, kind of go through those and um, so we can just kind of you know you just drag and drop and hit submit so um, <clears throat> that's kind of how that works and they have a whole slew of those so now we'll go back uh, to the we have the performance based questions you have the solutions and you have uh, some lab exercises um, but we're going to be looking at some other labs as well um, and then you have uh, some select videos that you can watch here and in this demonstration we'll take a look at how so the ISO file so these videos just kind of go over how to do different tasks 
So that's pretty much it for the uh, Total Seminars Training Hub, which you'll be using quite a bit. And then now we're going to take a look at our labs. So this is through CompTIA. And what you do to get it started is uh, click here. And once you do that, it's going to bring up the main menu, uh, table contents. And then you can see all the different labs that you have down through here. And so the first one, I'll just pull it up so you can kind of see what to expect here and this is where if you didn't have that previous field experience that you could utilize these labs and uh kind of kind of make up for some of that stuff so it looks like it's going to take about three minutes to get this up and running so i'm going to pause this while this uh happens and then i will come back and show you what it looks like okay so um this is what your lab will look like when uh, you connect to it and you'll see that you have the instructions so you'll just go down through here and you'll follow uh, the instructions uh, to complete the labs and you can kind of check them off as you uh, get them done or whatever and <clears throat> once you're all done with the lab you'll just take a print screen of the completed uh, lab and then uh, upload that and here you have different resources and if you need help um this has some uh help here for you and if you have technical trouble you can submit a support request so if that happens to you let me know though so um and then you can kind of adjust the font and stuff so um this is one here just kind of teaching you how to use the lab interface so what it wants us to do is uh in this pane click the resources tab heading click the lab instructions to view these steps again when you have had a look so the resources tab here um, and you can see you can kind of change things and add things and so forth um, so And then you that you do the control delete and that'll pull up the the password and somewhere in here they should have uh, so it's admin if you click this it'll should type it in there for you So it's going to be V local. I'm um, sorry, it's going to be this. So let's click there and then click that. All right, I guess we'll just type it in. So it's a password.
Okay. Oh, almost had it. Okay, there we go. It's been a, been a bit since I messed with this. We had the summer off. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, so if you just click on that, it'll put the password in there for you, and we should, uh, let's go back here and then just put this in. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so sorry about that. But anyways, it pulls up your virtual machine, and then um, you'll be able to go through the rest of the, the lab here it has all the different parts um, that you can uh, pull up and so like there's the Linux and uh, here's all so yeah so anyways you're just going to go through and you're going to complete the steps um, looking at the instructions tab and so forth and when you're done uh, just take a print screen that you completed the lab and then upload that so that's kind of what we're looking at for the labs and uh, they usually run a little smoother like I said it's been uh, four months since I looked at this so but these are all the labs that we're going to have and uh, I've used these in the past and they they run pretty smooth for for everybody so you'll just want to hit start and then it'll start them up for you and you can go right through the uh, labs here so all right, well, for uh, week one, I think, uh, just as a recap, um, this is beginning networking one for Casper College, and uh, my contact information is up here. If you need anything, let me know. Watch for the announcements, and all this uh, links here are good stuff, and I do have the PowerPoints uh, in here from CompTIA, so those are a good resource for you as well. Um, the Professor Messer videos, uh, the main links in here and for your extra stuff um, you have a lot of different things to help you with your career and and comp ti and so forth and then these are the materials that you're going to need for the course and i would like you to try to get those this week and uh that way next week you're ready to go and then in moodle uh complete this discussion here and that's it so if you need anything feel free to reach out to me and uh glad you're all here and i hope you have a, a wonderful rest of the week thanks and have a good night